bye week coming at a good time? Yeah, it's coming at a good time. Um, obviously, uh, you know, four games and uh, four physical games, and so it'll be a time that we can uh, regroup and get healed, but also a time that we need to uh, use to get better and uh, prepare for Utah State. What, what do you think this team needs more, the, the physical rest or the mental rest? Um, I would say uh, a little bit more right now, the physical rest. I think we're still hungry to play and we're still ready to play, um, but there are some bumps and bruises that need to get healed up, and so, yeah. How much does your routine change? In a bye week? Um, it'll change a little bit as far as uh, I'm sure the practice schedule will be a little bit different. But as uh, coaches have said, you know, this isn't going to be a week where we're just going to sit around. Um, other teams are playing and getting better. And so we're going to have to use this week to get better as well. Your 4 0. Not been the prettiest at times, maybe, but got to be pretty pleased with what you've done in the first four weeks of the season. No, yeah, very pleased. Um, obviously, 4 0 is about as good as you can start a, a season. And uh, We've definitely made improvements each week, and so we'll have to continue to do that. There's a lot of things we need to fix from Virginia, um, and we'll get those fixed and, and ready to go. What are some of the things you're going to see on this week? <clears throat> um, I mean, honestly, we didn't feel like we played very well defensively at all. Um, and we watched film, and we corrected those things. And so now it's just about doing our individual assignments um, and doing them every single play so that we can have success on defense. Rem, you guys didn't get a sack. They threw over 50 times. Is that a, a kind of an area of concern? Yeah, it definitely has been. It has been the last couple of weeks. Um, we felt like we got to Houston pretty good, but the, the sacks weren't there. The same thing, we got to Virginia's quarterback a few times, but the sacks aren't happening. And so it'll definitely be a focus is, is getting to the quarterback. Do you think when Bronson comes back, it'll solve that? or is there a I mean, I, I wouldn't say it'll solve it. Obviously, Bronson will help you with that. You know what I mean? He's a great pass rusher, but um, there'll be a focus of uh, – each person uh, beating a one-on-one -on -one block and getting there this week in practice. Were you doubled a lot against Virginia? Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, if you're rushing four guys, one one or two guys are always going to be doubled. Um, but the guys that are single block are going to have to defeat those blocks. How gassed were you guys defending that many plays? Uh, pretty gassed. Um, I feel like we had a good rotation um, as, the as far as the defensive line goes. But Craig and some of those guys played 110 snaps. And that, that's way too many. And that comes from us not stopping. Um, they had 36 or 35 first downs, most in, any, in, in um, history at BYU. And, and then they were over 50% on third downs. And so that comes from us not, not converting and not stopping them so we can get off the field. Does it give you a little more appreciation what other teams are growing up against your offense? Oh, definitely. <laughs> I mean, it's, the whole thing switched. You know what I mean? The offense ran 60 plays. And so uh, hopefully we can get that reversed again. As a captain, how much of it falls on you guys or the captains to, to make sure no one gets satisfied with being one? Uh, I think it, I think it uh, matters a lot. You know what I mean? Obviously, the media and everyone's going to play a huge role in, oh, where are you guys, are you guys going to go undefeated or what's going to happen? And uh, we just have a focus of a one-game season. And as captains, I mean, I think the most we can do is just try to help help the other players understand that. What about with the penalties? Do you feel like it's part of the captain's responsibility to try to get some of those maybe ones that you can prevent in life? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, for the most part, I felt like every call was a good call. Um, maybe, maybe one PI call I didn't agree with, but other than that, I felt like they were good calls. And so uh, I think Craig, you know, he'll take care of the defense, um, the defensive backs and correcting those. And uh, obviously, we need to get them cleared up. But it's, it's four games in. I mean, what things do you think need to be done in order to get those cleared up? You guys are the most penalized team in the country right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would just say being more disciplined. You know what I mean? Obviously, we have a mentality of um, being fierce and being very physical, but yeah, at the same time, you've got to be smart. And so uh, we'll put an emphasis on that. What was it like in the locker room after that? I mean, or, or you know, as you wrapped up the Virginia stuff and knowing you didn't play well, was it a lot of yelling or was it, you know, was it? Um, I think, was the, honestly, it was a little different just because there, there was some excitement in that we won and uh, we were happy that we won. But as a defense, we knew we didn't play well. And we were kind of upset about that. And it was the same feeling today. And so we're going to try to move on from Virginia, um, but we're going to be hungry going into the next couple weeks. What's your fascination with the Pirates? Oh, I don't know. I just like the hat. <laughs> Not much of a Pirates fan. <laughs>